guys. Today on Sunday, I haven't had much luck. I've been out here for probably two hours, and and all I've got is uh, just a couple modern nickels and three uh, copper memorials. Starting to feel like uh, West Coast Diggers Norway today, so I uh, I just dug a Colt 45 uh, shell casing. Let me get you a close up on that Colt 45 shell casing. It was coming up as a 12 uh, 1234. It wasn't that deep, uh, probably about four or five inches. Thought I'd dig it up anyway, see what it was. Been digging a lot of junk today. On to the next. Hey guys, metal detector here down along the river today. It's windy, it's 40 degrees, the winds are about 35 miles an hour. Sorry about the this video, but uh, here down about 8 inches, 7, 8 inches, more, more like 8 inches. I had a pocket spill, a three wheat penny pocket spill. Been digging up clad coins. Uh, if there's wheat pennies here, it could be silver, guys. So, on to the next. Hey guys, how you doing? Detecting today on Sunday, I haven't had much luck. I've been out here about an hour and a half and uh, had a 1957 D wheat penny. Let me get a close up of that. I haven't, had much, uh, I haven't had much luck in a while, but it is the first good thing I found. In a few weeks, 1957 D wheat penny. On to the next, I hope. You guys, another wheat penny down about eight inches down there. It's been an hour since I found the last one, and uh, it's a 1928 S. 1928 S wheat penny. On to the next, I hope. The next is probably going to be going home here in a little bit. See you guys later. Guys, here I am at a Cook County Forest Preserve. On a group hunt. <clears throat> group hunt with a club. I just, uh, down about, uh, well, it was a, about 8 inches, 7, 8 inches. I got myself a mercury dime. Get my magnifying glass out. I get a close. Guys, I hope you can see that. It's a happens to be a 1943 S mint mark mercury dime down about eight inches. It was giving me uh, <clears throat> first. It was giving me uh, like a, a 1242. And I mean, I almost walked over it, and then every once in a while it would bounce up to to 1246, 1247. So I thought, well, let's see what we got here. And of course, there we go. Got a mercury dime. It's real trashy out here, so it's a lot of junk. Guys, uh, went on a hunt today, Cook County Forest Preserve, and uh, these are my finds. Not a whole lot. I haven't, uh, I haven't got any silver in probably a month, and I got my first silver in about a month today. I got a, uh, I got a 1943s mercury dime. And then I got this uh, this cool baseball pin. I don't know what metal that is. It's pretty heavy though, and it could be have some kind of silver in it. I don't know. I cleaned it up a little. I guess I could clean it up a more some more. You can see where the the pin was on there, where it would pin to a shirt or something. It broke off. It uh, gave me a quarter signal, and the thing was down in the ground about eight inches. And I thought, oh boy, I got a good quarter signal here, eight inches. I thought I was going to get something good. Well, yeah, it's not a quarter, but it's pretty cool. And then I got this uh, this Cook County Forest Preserve. I think it's a 2001 rabies vaccination tag. And then, uh, of course, there's my mercury dime. And then I got two wheat pennies. They were pretty close to one another, probably about three or four feet from one another. It's a night. It's a 1919s. And a 1919 plane wheat pennies. So it's not too bad, I guess. At least I got some silver after a month. And then there's this cool little bitty cop car that was giving me a penny signal. It was in the ground probably about five inches. So 
So there's some there's some metal in there somewhere, but it was coming up as a it was coming up as a penny. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. You know that's just about big enough to to carry all these coins I found. Checking on her eat this evergreen and a couple